in few days time we have general election 2019 and if some of you think what a horrible thought it will be understandable because this election is quite different most of the elections are conventional and the campaigns are conventional as well but this election is full of lies deceptions and hate some of it imported and we see hate campaigns particularly against opposition leadership now when it comes to Harrow the situation is not very different though there are some variations for example uh, in last 50 years I have been actively involved in socio-political life I have seen many MPs who obviously uh, want to have as many votes as possible and sometime try to use the communities or certain groups of people but what we see now especially in Harrow East is viciousness dividing the community not understanding the impact that has on community relationships and on the well-being of um, the residents it is all about retaining seat now Harrow most probably people think is a nice leafy area well some parts of Harrow are quite good and they represent uh, very much like a sort of leafy area but many other parts of the Harrow um, like some wards Green Hill Marlborough um, Canton East and Wildstone um, they have all the symptoms of inner cities and not only that in Harrow we have problems which are related to people who are vulnerable the people who are less to less well to do the people who find very difficult to to to, to live along uh, on 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 our income on the low income and on the benefits so for example the problems Harrow has is like in NHS GP appointments getting very difficult we had some walk-in clinics which helped people to go and get some medical treatment they have been closed many hospital treatments need pre-approval by NHS we have many NHS medicines that now need to, to be bought off-shelf we have mental health crisis especially affecting young people and then of course we have the impact of austerity measures which are hitting Harrow worst for example Harrow's funding has been cut to an extent that Harrow finds very difficult to balance the book 30% of children in Harrow live in poverty Harrow food banks fed over 2,617 people including over 1,041 children there will be 1,532 1,532 homeless children in Harrow this Christmas alone and then we have other crises like the police service because MET funding has been cut quite significantly uh, which affect uh, the, the detection of the crime and dealing with the crime and one thing which Harrow is very concerned about that knife crime in Harrow has increased also in Harrow in 12 months to September 2019 there were 648 racist and religious hate crimes reported and this is much up from the previous year where it was 288 and then we have over 27,000 private renters in Harrow who need protection 
from bad landlords. Now all those measures require representatives who are concerned what is happening in Harrow not only to retain their seats but do something about the challenges which Harrow and the Harrow people face. And I think that requires at least one MP who can stand on the platform of social justice, who have concerns about people, who thinks that uh, the, the society and the class structure uh, should not be such that some people have been deprived at the cost of others. And I think in that sense, I particularly support Harrow East Labour candidate, Pamela Fitzpatrick, because Pamela is not only hardworking, warm person, but she understand the Harrow pr uh, problems. And she is also on the same page as Jeremy Corbyn regarding social justice and equality. 